Hey guys, welcome back to another Comfy tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can merge uh, logos or objects into different images and you can blend them seamlessly with one another as you can see over here so we're gonna explore this workflow in this video so the workflow we're gonna be using is from Jason's github over here I'm gonna link it down in the description box below you can download the workflow from here just click on the download button once you have downloaded this workflow there are certain models you need to download in order for this workflow to run I'm gonna teach you where you can download those models from and where to place them on your computer so we're loading all of our models from here now first up I have all the links down in the description so first up we're gonna download this one the flux field dev safe tensor file so you can download this model from here and this model needs to go into your comfy ui directory you want to go in your comfy ui folder and then in models and then in diffusion models so as you can see i have it downloaded over here the next file you need to download is the comfy ui subject lora 16 so you can download this from this link just click on this download button over here and you need to place this in your computer in comfy ui folder models and loras you need to place it over here the remaining models this one and uh, this ae safe tensor file you can download directly from comfy ui so you can simply come to your comfy ui manager and you can click on model manager and then you can just search for those models so i'm gonna write ae.safe tensors so you can you need to download this one and lastly you need to download this one uh, the fp16 one once you have all the models downloaded you can just uh, refresh your comfy web browser and you can come to edit and refresh node definitions so all the model definitions are updated then you can uh, select those models one by one let's run this model once so you need to upload two pictures the first one is the target image and the second one is the object you want to attach onto that target image once you have uploaded your target image you can right click and you can draw a mask on to that image once you have drawn your mask you can simply click on save button over here and after that that mask will appear onto the shirt and this object will be inserted in the image on this place we're gonna click on Q and we're gonna see how the results turn up so it's done adding the object on top of the shirt now this object is black because of the prompt over here we're gonna re-edit this prompt to preserve the colors now we're gonna queue it again and we're gonna see if it can preserve the colors and as you can see this time around it's preserving the original colors from the tower okay I have changed the logo and let's try and run this and see how the results turn up and as you can see it has applied that logo beautifully onto that shirt now of course the mask width was really narrow we're gonna try and increase that let's try and increase the mask width so I have increased the mask width this time and let's see if it's able to fit this wide logo onto the shirt and as you can see the clipping has been reduced of course the mask ended up over here so that's why there's slight clipping over here but overall the results are really awesome we're gonna try something different this time we're gonna try to add objects into different backgrounds so this time I have a picture of a football over here and we're gonna try to add it here in this living room so I'm gonna draw a mask on this image something like this should be good let's click on save and let's see the results this time and as you can see it has included football here in the shot now this time around we're gonna try to add this chair here in this background so I'm gonna draw redraw the mask so I'm giving it ample room to place the chair over here we're gonna click on save and let's see how the results turn out this time and as you can see uh, the chair has in fact been added to our living room over here now we can pass this through another case sampler to uh, blend this object more into its surroundings now this time around I'm passing this through another layer of diffusion model to try to blend the objects slightly more with the living room so let's see how the results turn up and these are the results as you can see the slight clipping on the top right part of the chair has been fixed uh, you can try playing around with the denoise setting over here the higher the denoise setting the more creativity you give to the AI model to paint over this picture 
but of course if you go too high uh, the AI is going to totally change the picture now this workflow is really helpful if you're doing any sort of product placement or branding for a product lastly a little bit on how this workflow is working once you upload both of these images they are both resized and then they are joined into a single image then the mask you've drawn on top of this image is separated and it's drawn on top of the joined image where it's supposed to be and then this joined image and this mask is provided to this in paint model over here which generates the final result for us lastly once the result has been generated we have to crop out the original image now this is the final result that's generated after from that in painting model after that we have to crop out the image we want because we want to ignore this part this is then provided to this image crop node over here which provides us with the final output over here so that's it for this workflow once again i will have all the links down in the description box below and let me know if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and thanks for watching this video